you know who discovered Einstein? magnetism? Einstein? Way before Einstein, way before. Galileo. Way before Galileo. Isaac. Even before Isaac Newton, you gotta keep going back, 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 back. Cavemen. Cavemen, <laughs> maybe, maybe, but it was pretty far back in time. Well, we're gonna look at the first people to discover how to use magnetism for practical purposes, and then we're gonna come back and look at the connections between magnetism and electricity. The first discoveries of magnets and magnetism were made by the early Greeks and the Chinese. The Greeks focused on the idea that magnetic stones would attract iron. In China, there was more interest in the fact that a magnet would line up in a particular direction, a principle that has been known and used in China for thousands of years. A spoon carved from natural magnetic material was found to rotate on a smooth surface, lining up on a north-south axis. Chinese science, philosophy, and medicine stressed alignment with natural flows and currents, the science of winds and waters, or feng shui. The compass brings itself into alignment with an unseen field, and it's natural that early adopters of this technology used it to create harmonious alignments, only later adapting it to the science of navigation.